In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on November 20th, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Florida Panthers vs. Columbus Blue Jackets Two teams, both playing the second outing of their separate back-to-back -back sets, will face off against each other in Ohio, where the local Columbus Blue Jackets will play host to the Florida Panthers. The Florida Panthers are averaging 3.33 goals per game and are scoring on 18.8% of their power play opportunities. Carter Verheeg leads Florida with 11 goals, Matthew T. Kachuk has 17 assists, and Alexander Barkov has 66 shots on goal. Defensively, the Florida Panthers are allowing 3.22 goals per game and are killing 77.9% of their opponent's power plays. Sergei Bobrovsky has given up 32 goals on 306 shots faced, and Spencer Knight has allowed 21 goals on 257 shots. The Columbus Blue Jackets are averaging 2.94 goals per game and are scoring on 9.8% of their power play opportunities. Boone Jenner leads Columbus with 7 goals, Johnny Gaudreau has 9 assists and Zach Wernsky has 41 shots on goal. Defensively, the Columbus Blue Jackets are allowing 4.41 goals per game and are killing 75% of their opponent's power plays. Junas Corpozolo has allowed 23 goals on 224 shots faced, and Elvis Merzlikens has given up 36 goals on 265 shots. Florida is 22-6 in their last 28 games against the Metropolitan and 2-5 in their last 7 road games. The over is 4-1 in Florida's last 5 road games. Columbus is 11-24 in their last 35 games and 1-4 in their last 5 games playing on 0 days rest. The over is 4-1 in Columbus' last 5 Sunday games. The over is 5-0 in these two teams' last 5 head-to-head -head meetings. Florida has dominated the Blue Jackets in recent matchups. The Panthers are 8-1-1 to to in their last 10 meetings against Columbus. Florida averages 4.80 goals per game while the Blue Jackets averages 2.6 goals per game in the last 10 meetings between these two teams. Defense and goaltending have been horrible for the Blue Jackets this season. They rank last in goals against per game and 31st in shots against per game. Elvis Merzlikens has a record of 2-5-0 with a 4.74 goals against average and a .864 save percentage. Junas Corpozolo has a record of 3-2-1 with a 4.16 goals against average average and .897 save percentage. The offense has been heating up for the Panthers recently. They scored three or more goals in eight of the last ten games. The Panthers rank 11th in goals per game and first in shots per game. Matthew T. Kachuk leads the Panthers with 24 points. He is seventh in the league in points. T. Kachuk has two or more points in three straight games. Given the Panthers' success against Columbus, they will take care of business in this one. An incredible total of 32 goals has been buried in the last three meetings between Columbus and Florida alone. That's a whopping 10.67 snipes per game. So, picking the under in their upcoming contest is definitely a pretty difficult proposition. When skating on the second night of a back-to-back -back stretch, the Blue Jackets have already cruised past the set snipe mark on 13 of the most recent 19 occasions. Six of the last eight overall matchups of the Panthers, meanwhile, have all witnessed quite a substantial amount of goals scored, averaging no less than eight tallies per clash. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Penguins vs. Chicago Blackhawks The Pittsburgh Penguins face the Chicago Blackhawks with both teams off to rocky starts to the season. The Penguins have an 8-7-3 record but have won back-to-back -back games while the Blackhawks have a 6-8-3 record and with three losses in a row are near the bottom of the Central Division. Both teams are looking to improve in their divisions and the upcoming game looks to be a good one as a result. The Pittsburgh Penguins will look to build on their 3-0 win over the Winnipeg Jets last time out. Sidney Crosby has a team-high 23 points with 9 goals and 14 assists 
while Evgeny Malkin has 19 points split between 7 goals and 12 assists. Jake Gensel has also chipped in 16 points with a team-high 10 goals and 7 assists this season. Tristan Jerry has gone 6-3-2 with a 3.6 goals against average and an .895 save percentage, while Casey DeSmith is 2-4-1 with a 2.86 goals against average and a .910 save percentage in goal for Pittsburgh this season. The Chicago Blackhawks will hope to snap a 3-game losing skid after their 6-1 loss to Boston last time out. Patrick Kane leads Chicago with 13 points coming with a team-high 11 assists, while Jonathan Toes has 11 points with a team-high 8 goals. Max Domi also has 12 points with 4 goals and 8 assists as well this season. Petr Mrazek has gone 1-3-1 with a 3.16 goals against average and an .889 save percentage, while Alex Stalock is 3-2-1 with a 2.93 goals against average and a .914 save percentage in goal for Chicago this season. The Penguins are 0-5 in their last last five games, playing on zero days of rest. The under is 6-1 in the Blackhawks' last seven games. The under is 4-1 in the Penguins' last five games against the Western Conference. The under is 4-1 in Blackhawks' last five home games versus a team with a road winning percentage of less than .400. The Pittsburgh Penguins and Chicago Blackhawks are both set to play their second game in as many nights. Each of these teams played as the road squad yesterday, but the outcomes were different as the Penguins secured a win while the Blackhawks lost. Rest won't play as an advantage for anyone here, as both squads are traveling to Chicago. After a seven-game losing streak that began in October, the Penguins have rebounded and posted a 4-2-1 record since. They hold themselves to a high standard and realize their cup-winning potential is running out as they have a veteran group. Now that they have regained their confidence, they need to run with it and I think they will. Pittsburgh can take down the teams they are supposed to, which was not happening earlier in the season. Chicago is a rebuilding group with minimal expectations, and there isn't much to like from their team on a night-to-night -night basis. As the higher quality team, the Penguins should be able to win in regulation and extend their win streak to three games. So the Pittsburgh Penguins' money line is our full game side pick. The way both defenses have struggled this year, I see this game being a high-scoring one with both offenses stepping up. The Blackhawks should pile on the goals against a Penguins defense that is allowing 3.59 goals per game with Patrick Kay, Max Domi, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and creating open shots with quick passes. The Penguins, who average 3.65 goals per game, should run up the score against the Blackhawks, who allow 3.13 goals per game, with Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, Jake Gensel, and the rest of the forward unit creating open shots with speed on the win and quick passes while Chris Letty picks apart the Blackhawks from the point. This will be a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.